when I read this project, I just couldn't wait to make it. That's why I'm making it so early, because it's really relatable. I just am so baffled on where this year went. It feels like we just started. I feel like my broadcasting career just started, even though I've already taken the class one whole year. I loved every second of it. I wish I could do it another time, but I can't. For me being a beacon of light, I've been trying to keep my team in good shape. I've been trying to keep their emotions up keeping the morale up, getting them ready for the season. I've been stuck in quarantine like everyone else. We could be using this as an excuse to get fat and be lazy, or you can do it to be healthy and f make you better for when you're out of quarantine. Like I read through the whole book of Job the other day and Job is my favorite book, but I've never sat down and read it from beginning to end. Our whole family sat down and ate dinner together, expressing how our day has gone. Even though it's hard to live in a house with every single person, we still try to do that. And I'm loving it. I'm feeling more connected to my family. I've been going on walks. I've been doing that re anyways, but I've been doing it more. As I'm here, we're seeing your Tristan Eberbach. Tristan, how have you been? Been good. How you been, Jeb? I've been doing pretty good. So I just want to ask you, how has online school been for you during Corona? Um, I mean, it's been pretty good. I'm doing well in all my classes. Pretty sure I've always. Um, but and I also like it's more convenient. Like I don't have to wake up early. I can do whatever I want. Um, but I would say for me personally, um, makes it hard for me to focus. You know, harder to retain the information. I'd say. And I mean, the obvious reason of like, you don't have all the resources you have if you go to school, I'd say is kind of a down, downplay. But um, I mean, it's kind of, it's a good like thing we can do in the situation we have right now. Yeah, totally understandable. Online school, I personally don't like it that much because it's kind of a pain. Anyways, has anything good come out of Corona for you during this season? Um, I'd say, I mean, Corona's kind of bad in like every way I'd say, but like, Kind of a good thing is like I get to see my family a lot more. I mean, I'm not like, oh, like at school like most of the day, and I mean I'm not always hanging out with my friends. And my brother's back from college, which is kind of a good thing. So I say being able to hang out with my family is a good, good thing. That's perfect. Well, thanks for meeting with me, Tristan, and stay safe. And hopefully we'll see each other again soon. We are pulling up here to Alex Williams' house. They live here in Westerville. And Alex is a WC grad, class of 2020. He's been quarantined now for approximately seven weeks, eight weeks, almost nine. And we're gonna surprise him with a sign and a treat. So yeah, here we go. All right, got a little treat for him. We've got the sign. I've got my mask, okay? Now I can see he already has his own sign. We're gonna add an extra sign to it. He's going to Ohio State, that's pretty amazing. Uh, but uh, he doesn't have one of these, the official class of 2020 sign. All right, let's ring the doorbell here. Hello. Hey. Hello, not me. Happy quarantine, Where where is the boy? Where's the graduate? Hey. <laughs> there he is. Hello. What's up, Mr. That's class right. of 2020? Good to see you. How you been? I've been all right, I guess. Just having one of my first AP tests online. Oh, yeah. Do you think you killed it? Uh, hopefully. Okay, awesome. Do you have one more or two more? One or? more on Thursday. All right, and then you're completely done? Yep. That is fantastic. Mm -hmm. Well, listen, uh, we are delivering these signs. Now, I know you already have a sign out there, but hey, you don't have the official oh, class oh. of 2020 Worthington Christian mm -hmm. sign. So I'm going to put it out there next to yours. Right, and then... Just uh, because I have missed you immensely, oh, uh, I wanted you. to give this to you just to enjoy a little treat, okay? Let you know that uh, I'm praying for you. Hello, thank you for sitting down and taking the time to do this. You're welcome. 
Uh, have you been bored during quarantine? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to cure your boredom? Um, doing school on the weekdays, going on my phone, and FaceTime my friends. So, what is a normal day for you during the quarantine? Um, I wake up, do schoolwork, and then just like sit on my phone and then do more schoolwork, and then probably eat lunch and then repeat that and then dinner, and then watch something and then FaceTime my friends. Oh wait, and work out, yeah. Has anything exciting happened during the quarantine? No, but it's gonna be my birthday soon. Uh, had, we also moved. Um, what's the longest assignment you've had to do? Comp book, because you have to like write all the chapters. Uh, I see, that's for geometry, right? Yeah. I'm on geometry. What's been your favorite class so far? Um, biology, because she has a lot of fun stuff for us to watch. Do you like online school or not? I do, because I can work ahead, and I can be done with like one subject in one day. All right, well, thanks for taking the time again. Welcome to my uh, HGTV home tour. This is the front entryway. As you can see, we still have a lot of boxes because uh, we haven't really bothered to unpack all of them. This is our stove that we don't have because the people can't install it because of the coronavirus. I don't know. So we have a hot plate that we've been using. Oh, another thing that we don't have is Wi-Fi. So this is the Wi-Fi card that we've been using uh, or my mom has been using for work and everybody else suffers with that Wi-Fi. Uh, honestly, the coronavirus hasn't really impacted us too much during the move. The only thing that it impacted was the movers showed up a little bit late because they were worried about the coronavirus being uh, a thing. And uh, we don't have Wi-Fi, we don't have a stove. And that was only, those, those were the only things that the coronavirus impacted, I think. And the electricians got in like a week late, something like that. But other than that, nothing really.
but you lot of dinkum around my bottom of the 